Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. I was recently speaking to a good friend of mine, a brilliant doctor, who also has some experience working in the world of Big Pharma. And he told me about two areas that Big Pharma is currently very excited about. They see big riches on the horizon, imminent dollar flow. And I know I love using the term clown worldness, but this is true clown worldness at play. Listen to these two areas that Big Pharma is ever so excited about. Number one, fatty liver disease in kids. A condition which was basically unheard of. Pediatricians used to go their whole careers without seeing fatty liver disease or the associated conditions, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes in children and adolescents. They would simply never see it. But now, those conditions are exploding and Big Pharma sees big riches on the horizon. Think about these statistics. The prevalence of obesity among children and adolescents aged 2 to 19 in the US has increased to approximately 20%. In fact, it's now above 20%. A rate that has more than tripled since the 1970s. In fact, when you factor in being overweight as well, a total of 50% of all children in the United States are now overweight or obese. And as for fatty liver disease in kids, of course this condition is everywhere in adults right now, but we never used to see it in kids. Fat deposits in the liver as a result of a toxic lifestyle. I believe the woke were trying to change the name of fatty liver disease. Huge segments of the medical establishment because of course, changing the name of a disease solves the problem, doesn't it? They never want to actually address the true problem, but they will change the name. Think about this statistic for fatty liver disease. And yes, the condition is still known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, once extremely rare in children. Now affects 10% of US children, a dramatic increase from less than 1% in the 1980s. And as for toddlers, they are not spared nowadays. They are well on the path to fatty liver disease. Because the obesity rate among toddlers aged 2 to 5 has more than doubled in the past four decades, with a recent steep increase, reaching over 15% today, compared to under 5% in the 1970s. Absolutely unbelievable statistics. I want to say again, 50% of all children in the United States are now overweight or obese, and a huge percentage of them will have fatty deposits in their liver. And of course, Big Pharma wants to profit off this. So that is coming to a neighborhood somewhere near you right now, a child who will be put on a drug for fatty liver disease. We won't have public health campaigns, but we will put these poor kids on a drug, which they will be on potentially for life. Big Pharma gets rich while other people and children get sick. And number two, the second area that Big Pharma is currently very excited about. Drugs, medications, pharmaceuticals to treat the side effects of semaglutide, also known as Ozempic or Wagovi. You cannot make this stuff up. Sheer madness. But drug companies, Big Pharma, are currently very excited about this prospect. So not only do we have this injection, this weight loss injection that I've talked about before, which wasn't even needed a few decades ago, that are being used in younger and younger people rather than address the true problems, the toxic lifestyle, hold these food corporations accountable, which deliberately employ scientists to make hyperpalatable, addictive, cheap foods that addict millions of people, rather than address that, rather than a big public health campaign. Not only will we inject potentially millions of people with an injection for life with a ton of side effects, when you read the warning label and you read some of the case reports, which include very significant side effects and potential adverse events, and even include malignancy, cancer in some people, not only will we do that, but we will also then create more drugs to treat the side effects, to put people on. Seriously folks, when I hear about stories like this, I think, can somebody please get me the first rocket ship off planet Earth? Because not only is this complete insanity, but it is also no doubt going to be pushed by the medical establishment because drugs, drugs, drugs are always the answer to society's problems. And once more, Big Pharma gets very rich indeed while other people continue to get sick. That's always the way. So I wanted to share those two big areas of drug development on the horizon. 
And I don't expect things to change. Unfortunately, especially in the United States, the government is basically owned by Big Pharma. This is a problem of both political parties. I don't believe that one party is particularly better than the other. Maybe one party has become more the party of Big Pharma. I don't know how that happened. The party of hippies in the 1970s is now the party of Big Business and Big Pharma. But regardless, I really believe we have a uniparty system in so many ways. When you look at the money flow, two thirds of Congress, this is both political parties have taken money from Big Pharma. All you have to do is turn on a television in the United States and see the extent to which Big Pharma owns the advertising system, how much money they are throwing at cable TV companies, turn on the mainstream media, read a newspaper. It's all Big Pharma, Big Pharma, Big Pharma. This entity has become bigger than big oil and even the war industry. This is unprecedented, the amount of power that Big Pharma currently wields in the United States. So I do not see a change anytime soon. There's simply too much money involved. Very sad indeed, because ultimately, who suffers? The masses. But as you know, one of my favorite phrases, three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. The truth will eventually come out. Future generations will look back and they will think, what on earth were these people doing? thinking that medications and more drugs were the answer to societal problems which were far deeper than a drug solution. Thanks everyone for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Check out my health programs, including my Loser Gut program for busy men and my Stay Away From Healthcare program. Those links are down below, as are the links to my free downloads. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will speak again very soon.